Hi, today's discussion will be about dielectrics and static electric field. We already know that all materials are classified into three classes according to their behavior under the electric fields. They are classified into conductors, dielectrics, and semiconductors. As we said in the previous video, in conductors, three charges exist. And when the conductor is placed in an external electric field, the charges will redistribute themselves as positive charges will accumulate on, on one side and the negative charges will accumulate on the other side. As an internal electric field will be created due to this redistribution. This generated internal electric field will cancel out the external electric field and consequently we have no electric field inside the conductor. Anyways, dielectrics do not contain free charges as these charges are bounded are bounded and they have no liberty to move within the body of the dielectric. Therefore, when dielectrics are placed in external electric field, the charges cannot move and redistribute themselves and produce an external electric field to cancel out the external one, like what is done in the case of conductors. So indeed, the electric field will penetrate into dielectrics. Although dielectrics are generally neutral, it's like any material media in the world. Dielectrics are composed of positive nuclei and negative electrons. Therefore, when an external electric field is applied on the dielectric, a slight displacement will be caused of positive and negative charges as, as the molecules of the dielectric will be rearranged. And as a result, we will have a bunch of aligned electric dipoles like this. This process is known by polarization. Anyways, in some dielectrics, the molecules are naturally, are naturally dipoles, even in the absence of external electric field. Or namely, some dielectrics have permanent dipole moments, as the dipole moment is uh, represented by this equation. The, it's represented by P and it's equal to the product between D and Q, where D is the distance of the dipole, or the distance between the two charges of the dipole and Q is the magnitude of the charge for the dipole. And these molecules which have a permanent dipole moments are known by polar molecules. And the reason behind the existence of the uh, permanent dipole moments inside these polar molecules is the difference of electronegativity between the bonded atoms. For instance, we have water molecule H2O, it's polar. Because of the difference of the electronegativity between the hydrogen and oxygen as the hydrogen is partially positive and the oxygen is partially negative so that the molecule of H2O is already dipole and the direction and the vector of the dipole and the direction of the vector of the dipole is starting from the positive charge to the negative charge in this way okay Unlike polar molecules, we have nonpolar molecules which do not have a permanent dipole moments. Uh, and for instance, we have dioatomic dio gases like hydrogen H2, oxygen O2, and nitrogen N2. As now, let's concentrate on the polar molecules and look at this figure. In rest, in the absence of electric field, the electric dipole moments of polar molecules is intangible and barely detected and it is of the order of 10 to the power of minus 30 column at meter and this is due to the chaotic random orientation of dipoles as there is no net dipole moment macroscopically exist as when uh, when an internal electric external electric field is a present a torque will be exerted on the dipoles on the dipoles of uh, the polar molecules and they will be aligned with the applied electric field and in conclusion I would like to say that uh, <coughs> that the electric field penetrates into the dielectrics and it's uh, producing an electric dipole moment inside the dielectric unlike conductors 
which the electric field inside is equal to zero. And the incoming lectures, we are going to concentrate more on the concept of the electric dipole moment for the D-electrics. That's the end for today. See you.